Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 12, 9, and 7. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you've come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button somewhere down below. In today's video, I'm bringing you another Evan Moore review. I have several of them in my uh, playlist because I've been an Evan Moore affiliate for a few years and I've used them for years before that as well. This is our sixth year homeschooling and I have consistently enjoyed using Evan Moore products. I think they are exceptionally well done. And the Language Fundamental series is a great one. Um, today I'm going to show you the grade one language fundamentals from Evan Moore. It includes 200 plus pages of focused practice of grammar, mechanics, usage, handwriting, as well as a lot of vocabulary lessons. Now it goes through the alphabet, nouns, adjectives, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, sentences, capitalization, punctuation, usage, and vocab. If you're interested in it for other grade levels, it does run from grades one through grade five and it really does provide fundamentals. The way we use it in our homeschool is every other year we use language fundamentals and the intervening years we use something else. So if you look at the table of contents of this book you can see that it really does separate it out by section. You have the print alphabet section, you have the grammar section as a whole section on nouns, then adjectives, then pronouns, etc. You don't really interleave them and what I do instead is I use this book to interleave them. Another way to use this book is when you notice a student having a problem with a particular type of topic, for example, pronouns, you have a whole series of pages you can do to review pronouns with them. I actually like going through the entire book every uh, time that I use it, but I don't do it in order. So typically, um, for the first few weeks, which we are doing right now, we go through straight in order. We just do the first few pages, sort of get an idea of how this workbook works. And then I start interleaving. So I may do a page of nouns and then a page of verbs and then a page of sentences and then a page of punctuation, a page of capitalization, etc. And I use separate little flags to note my place in the book. However you want to use it is fine though. It does allow you to cover all the grammar and vocab topics you would want to in that grade level. When people start using workbooks or when they get a pushback with workbooks, I often find that people's difficulty with workbook usage is that they feel very constrained by how the workbook is laid out or all the pages in the workbook or the writing it entails. I always encourage parents to go with what you need. Use the curriculum for your child. Don't let the curriculum use you or dictate your days. Um, make it work for you. Make it the most robust educational tool for you. So for example, my student is really past a lot of these um, handwriting pages. So we just didn't do them and we just went straight into page 16 with nouns. Now, evaluating what your child needs is, is a really um, nuanced skill. It's not as obvious as some people might make it out to be. It's easy to see a workbook, to see a curriculum and think like, this is what every single first grader needs, but that is not actually true. So really look at your child, see what they feel like that day, see what they need, see whether they feel like writing, whether they feel like talking more, whether they feel like working on something active, whether they feel like sitting down for table work and, and gauge that um, before you throw a curriculum out, you know, like try to be flexible with your student and the curriculum. Uh, as you can see, the book starts out and you have a noun section. Every single page in this book has a little teaching section at the top and then the activity that takes up most of the page. But the pages themselves are very swift, even for the student at that grade level. So it's a really nice little review page. Like it talks about it and then you have an exercise and then you're done. So it's really perfect for my students' attention level. Obviously, as the students get older, these increase in complexity and difficulty, but they are always designed to be a fairly swift assignment. So I'm just going to pass through. Um, at the end of every little section, you have a review page. So we've been talking about nouns and verbs here, and then you have like a review page here that goes over the material of the last few pages. So here you've got possessive nouns and practicing. You'll notice there's a combination between circling things, writing things, and filling in the blank. So there's separate activities so they don't get bored with one entire page of the same thing. There's also a lot of visual um, chart practice. There's some pages that are very, very simple like this, like you're just identifying what the adjective is versus the noun. Here's some sentences, there's some coloring. 
to indicate comprehension of what the different types of sentence parts is. Here you're starting to talk about subject and predicate, but they call it naming part and telling part. Whenever books do something like this, I always mention the real word also. Even if I don't expect them to remember it at that age, I'll still say this is the subject, you know, the and this is the predicate and use the appropriate terminology because as it comes up later, it just sort of, you know, pings that little memory peg in them. And as the student is getting older, you can see that you start to have more handwriting practice, a little bit more is required in terms of um, keeping their attention span through the page. The reading increases in complexity a little bit. By 215, you are at the answer key. So it's about 214 pages of worksheets. The answer key is designed such that it's full pages of full page reproductions of the worksheets. And whenever you have an answer key like this, I encourage you to have the older students um, help grade because it allows them to review the information. It's a really easy way for them to see whether their sibling has done it right or wrong. And I just think, you know, language found fundamentals like so many of the other Evan Moore language books is very well done very comprehensive. If you want to make sure that you're hitting your bullet points, no matter what type of curriculum you're using, this is a nice addition to a grade one language arts curriculum. As always, I appreciate your support when you use my affiliate links in the description box down below to check out the products that I share. And I appreciate your time. So thank you so much for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day.